everybody, welcome to Green Fish Nation. It's your host here again, John Suits. I'm fishing today with my number one fishing buddy, Trevor James Suits. Uh, we're out here at the little honey hole out in Point, Texas. Uh, Trevor's got him a brand spanking new open face uh, rod and reel. Uh, up until now, he's been throwing a uh, Zebco 33. Uh, so he's uh, all excited about getting his uh, rod and reel out and learning how to use it. It's a little windy out today, but you guys stay tuned. Today's episode is about teaching kids to fish, wanting to have a tackle box, more than an Xbox. So you guys stay tuned. All right, guys, this is Trevor. He's got his new rod and reel here. We went over a few basics on how to set up the uh, the spool tension, also the brake. Uh, he's chose to uh, throw a uh, fluke because it's weedless. We're out here at the honey hole. We're gonna start on this shallow end and we're gonna make a few casts and uh, it's gonna be all about him today, making him successful, making sure he has a good time. We stopped on our way down here Got some cherry sour, some Pringles, got him a cold drink, you know. So it's always important to get kids involved in fishing and to uh, have a good time at it. Stay as long as they're willing to stay and hopefully get on some fish. So you guys stay tuned. Nice first cast there, son. Just twitch it. Remember, it's a fluke. Just twitch your rod tip. There you go. Reel and twitch. Just like a jerk bait. Move it a little faster. They got a strong wind out here today. Going about 20 mile an hour out of the south. Twitch a little faster. Twitch and reel. There you go. Gotta make sure you got your lure clean, right? Remember, you gotta reel it a little bit faster. You want it to vibrate good. More moss. So, what do you think we need to do? One of two things, right? What's the first thing we can do? What's the second thing we can do? Or what's the third thing we can do? How about a different type of lure? So what do you think we should do? Okay, you decide what you want to do? Yeah, this is a wacky rig. All right guys, we've tried a uh, buzz bait, I'm sorry, a chatter bait. We kept getting a bunch of moss on there. We threw a, uh, what did we throw first, Trevor? Fluke threw a fluke first and we didn't have a whole lot of luck so Trevor's decided he's going to get this wacky rig out there and see what he can do with it so hopefully we can catch something for you guys okay remember you got to set that hook hard you got to try to jerk his tail through his mouth right Look at there. Fish on, guys, right there. Old wacky rig to pull it off. It's 11, 18, high old. What do you think about that? It's pretty all right, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Remember, put your thumb in his mouth. Pick him up. That way you got control of him. to help you.
There you go. Bring him here and let me see. Oh, he's gonna get away. <laughs> All right, let's show, let's show everybody what you got there, son. That's a pretty good little fish, ain't it? Is that your first wacky rig fish on this new rod? Good deal, all right. All right, we'll put him back. Doesn't get much better than that, guys. So Trevor, instead of picking that bird nest out, just make you, it's just barely a little bit since you were trying to skip under there. So just make you a good long cast and reel it right back in. There you go, did it come out? There you go, reel it back in and then make you a skip under that tree. Oh, you just missed one. He decided to go ahead and fish that out, guys. And I'd get right back out there in his in his playground. He decided to uh, just go ahead and fish that, what I call a cleanup cast out. And that gum, he got a bite on it. Oh, looky there, fish number two. That old wacky worm's doing it for you, ain't it? Good job, man. Don't reel him right up to the end. Get you some slack in your line, then you can race in there and pick him up. There you go, get control of the line. There you go, that way you don't get a fish hook in you. That's a nice, good, nice one there, bud. All right, come here and show all these green fish nations people what you got. All right, nice little six, seven inch bass. He was hungry, y'all. All right, put him back. You having fun? Good deal. All right, make sure your lure's right and get back out there with him. There's another one, guys. Makes number three on the old baby bass. Big bite, Cinco type bait. For Trevor James and his brand spanking new bait caster. There you go, that was, as soon as it hit the water, I think you must have hit that fish right in the mouth, Trevor. There he is, guys. Trevor got back in the middle of him there and hit him in the mouth with it again. Was that number four? Yeah, I think so. Number four. That baby bass wacky worm is doing the deal today, ain't it? hook that one at? Uh, bottom, of the bottom of the mouth. He must have got it on the fall, reckon.
give it thing a whirl out there. Better hang on to your britches. Guys, he just makes this look too easy. I'm telling you, you guys better look out for this kid when he gets a little bit older. He's gonna be hard to handle. Better hold that one up here and let us look at it. Put your hands underneath it. Put your hand on the other side of it. Your bottom hand. There you go. Pretty good looking fish, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Bet they fought a little harder, didn't it? I think he weighs about 10 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> maybe about a pound, huh? Maybe pound two. and a half. Think maybe two pounds. How long do you think he is? About two foot? Maybe about one foot. <laughs> Man, you feel that cool air coming through here? I also feel that cold water on my face. The wind also changed directions. It changed out of the west. Wonder what that did for the barometric pressure. You think it made it stay steady or? Oh, I guess it must have must be doing pretty good, whatever it's doing. That's number number five or six? Six. Number six. He didn't make no bones about that, guys. He just throwed it out there. Number six. Alright, Trevor, how many is that? Six. What are you catching them on? Huh? You don't remember what that's called? A wacky rig. A wacky rig. All right. What color is it? Green and white. White on the bottom. Baby bass. There you go. All right. Put him back. Well, guys, we tried. We got rained out today. Uh, had to cut that one short. Uh, Trevor, he ended up catching how many fish, Trevor? Six. Did you miss any? Two. Two? Okay. All right. Well, we threw a few different lures. Uh, we threw a chatterbait, and we started out with a uh, um, a fluke, and uh, didn't have any luck on those. Uh, fish just weren't really interested in that presentation. Trevor decided he'd switch over to a wacky rig baby bass uh, cinco type bait by Big Bite Baits, and what was the result, Trevor? Six fish. All right, guys. Did you have a good time? Yes. Trevor, Trevor was really liking his new bait caster. He's doing really good with it. Uh, he's going to continue to practice with it. We'll talk about in another video about how to set that bait caster up for success, how to line it and all that, uh, how to select the right rod for you. Uh, you guys stay tuned for those videos. We're going to have a knots videos coming up pretty soon as well. So thanks again for joining us at Greenfish Nation. Trevor and I, we had a great time today, spending quality time together, just he and I, and uh, that's what fishing's all about. It's not always about catching. Sometimes you just need a little time together out in Mother Nature. So thank you again for joining us. If you like our channel, give us a thumbs up. If you uh, want to tell somebody about it, we'd appreciate it. You're our only advertisement. Uh, leave us a comment. Uh, give us that like like we asked please uh, tell somebody about us that's all we can ask of you uh, if you got a comment you want to leave us talking about something that you liked that we did or something that you want to see it'll be down below for you to leave that so thanks again for joining us on Greenfish Nation we appreciate you tight lines guys